Hey, what's going on guys, it's Boy here, and today we're going to be talking about the custom rims and lowering in Southwest Florida. And I'm going to be showing you guys how to use it, how it works, and how to make, well actually no, not how to make cl clinging builds, I'm, I'm actually really bad at that. But this is my Lambo right here, I just kind of made it out of the blue, it kind of looks nice, I like it, it's kind of a vibe. But yeah, I'll, I'm going to just teach you guys how to, you know, how to work the rims, how to work the suspension, and how to work out a little bit of coloring if you have coloring issues as well. Now, um, before this video starts, I want to let you guys know that I have a Discord group with uh, Discord group that you can join and you can, you know, say hi and I can answer questions if you want any questions to be answered or if you want to join me in a video, you can do that as well. Now, there is a Roblox group or Roblox merch if you're interested in joining that and copying some high pop merch. Links are in the description below. Stops on socials if you're willing to follow those. I know a lot of you don't actually follow social media, but hey, it's fine. I don't either. Um, so yeah, those, those, those were my little rants at the beginning, not rants, but you know, things at the beginning, but, uh, let's get into, you know, how to customize your rims and stuff. So what you need to do is you need to, first of all, buy the, uh, suspension and, um, what's that called? Car rim customization, uh, game pass, which is listed for 49 Robux. Now, if you have 49 Robux, you can get the pass to customize rims and customize your car height. Now let's get into the car. And uh, click the customize button. I'm going to turn it on so you know I have to get that big message out of the way. But click the little customize button down below, and you should see a few options. You should see the wheels, and you should see ride height. Now you should see stock. If you click stock, you'll have your stock ride height, which is kind of high. Sport, you go a little lower, and race, you go pretty much to the floor, and it looks kind of nice. I always keep mine on race. I don't know why. It's just a cool thing. Now with the wheels. What you're going to do is if you want, you know, just some uh, cool little, you know, supercar rims, you can select, you can select the first tab, which is, you know, the general, what's that called, uh, thing, what's it called, a general tab for just like general cars, like supercars, trucks, SUVs, off-road, street, stands, and, you know, it comes back to stock wheels if you prefer those. Now, uh, if you want to, if you want to put on wheels as such, you know, pick whatever topic, I'll just pick street. And let's say you want the Lusa wheels, you just come from the Lusa wheels, and boom, you have some nice wheels on your car. Now what if you wanted the P PF01, you're just going to kind of click on down, and you should see some more of each wheel. Now there's a lot of wheels, so it might take you a little bit to scroll through them, there's about 80 wheels. But, uh, what's that called? At some point, your wheels will switch from switch your entire uh, preset here so it's on the street if i click the next one it goes to the stand so at some point the wheels will switch off so just keep in mind that when you're building your car now um what's it called now how do you kind of like make the car look generally nicer i don't know kind of go with what you like i mean see white on white rim with black interior rimming it's not bad you know just go with what you feel looks nice now, if you guys have any more questions about how to really use this, uh, what's it called, wheels tab, you know, just ask me in the comments below, it's not hard, you know, all you need to do is just select your thing, uh, select your general, uh, icon, then you pick the wheel that you like, you can just, and by the way, these come at no cost, so you can switch wheels as many times as you want, and you won't have to pay a single penny, so that's kind of cool about it, and, uh, yeah, if you want to change your ride height, all you need to do is click race, or stock, or sport, and then you just click confirm height, and boom. Now let's go to ref like the painting section of things, which is generally another what's it called pass, which is like I believe like 80 robux, so it's a little bit more expensive to be able to paint your car, uh, what you'd like it to be. So if you want to reflect, if you want reflectance on your car, never always just click one, because a your car will look really really bad. So which what which want to do is you want to click the little dot icon and then put like three. Uh, you get nice reflectance and also keep your car's color so you don't, what is it called, overdo your car and just make yourself look really bright and have no color to your car. Now, don't worry about factory paint since you're not going to be using that anymore since you have your custom paint. Now, RGB, you can always go to an RPG, uh, I mean, uh, RGB skin decks online and you can always, you know, kind of skim through colors and see what you like. If you like a certain color, you can find a little code, and that little code has like red, green, or blue. And let's say I wanted a 25 blue, what's it called, 64 green, and maybe a hundred and uh, let's do just 106, 105, 105, right? Blue. My car will now become like a nice little kind of blue. It's really nice. It's just a random number, but I kind of like the like the dig of it. 
You can also just kind of click around. It costs it's, it costs you not any. It doesn't cost you any cash. It'd be just switching your wheels, your height, your reflectance, your RGB paint. So that's pretty much how to control the paint, control the tires, and uh, yeah. Generally, with the ride suspension, you might want to work on your driving because if you're the one who crashes into curbs a lot, changing your ride height might not be the best thing for you. Because if I'm smacking into this curb right here. Sometimes you won't even go over with the, uh, what's it called, race suspension or just, uh, what's it called, sports suspension. You actually need just regular stock suspension to be able to be able to go over curbs. So it is something you want to know before you do switch around your cars, but yeah. That's pretty much it for the rims and wheels of and customizations of um, Southwest. Now I know I did a lot of rims, customizations, and other videos as such, and I'm being pulled over, so let's just pull over at the moment. But yeah, I've, loved, I've done a lot of those videos, so um... Yeah, I just want to let you guys know I'm sorry about that. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, comment down below what color you think I should do. And I'll see you guys in another video. Good bye!